From rogue satellites with unknown origins to strange signals beaming down from the heavens, these unexplained satellites might be more than just space junk. Are they part of secret government projects, or could they be evidence of alien surveillance? The Black Knight satellite is perhaps the most famous alleged alien satellite. The legend began in 1954 when newspapers, including the St. Louis Dispatch and the San Francisco Examiner, reported that Dr. Lincoln LaPaz, an astronomer, had detected two satellites orbiting Earth despite no known human satellite launches at that time. Interest peaked when a photo taken during the 1998 STS-88 shuttle mission was claimed by some conspiracy theorists to show the black night satellite. They argue that it's proof of extraterrestrial surveillance, though NASA has a totally different explanation. They claim that what is seen in the photo is likely space debris, probably a thermal blanket. Whether a lost piece of equipment or an alien artifact, the Black Knight satellite continues to be an unsolved mystery in the history of space lore. In the midst of the space race, the Soviet Union launched Cosmos 96, a part of their very ambitious Venus program in 1965. Its mission was to journey to Venus, but fate had a different plan. Due to a catastrophic rocket explosion, Cosmos 96 never made it out of Earth's orbit. About a month before its official launch, a very bizarre incident occurred in Kecksburg, Pennsylvania. A large, bell-shaped object, very much unlike typical debris, crash landed in the woods. Witnesses and local reports described the object as acorn-like, inscribed with strange hieroglyphic-like figures not dissimilar to descriptions of the Cosmos 96. The rapid military response and immediate cordoning off of the area only fueled public speculation. Was it a coincidence or was the fallen object in Kecksburg actually a part of the Cosmos program? The timing and secretive nature of the responses led to rampant theories. Some believe it was indeed Cosmos 96 or a related prototype covered up to disguise Soviet technological capabilities or failures. Others speculate more wildly, suggesting extraterrestrial origins. This incident has cemented its place in the annals of UFO lore and remains a story of Cold War secrecy, space race ambitions, and the possibilities of what might be hurtling through the cosmos, either man-made or perhaps something else entirely. Launched in 2014, the Russian satellite known as Luch or Olim quickly became the subject of intrigue and speculation among space watchers and governments. Unlike your typical satellite that finds its orbit and sticks to it, Lutch has been spotted zipping across geostationary orbits. This means that it moves to different positions above the Earth, which is not usual behavior for communication satellites that typically just stay put. Lutch doesn't just cruise around, it has actually been observed sneaking up close to other countries' communication satellites. This unusual behavior has led experts to scratch their heads. What is Lutch up to? Theories range from it being a space spy eavesdropping on other satellites' communications to it possibly testing out technology that could inspect or even, in a darker scenario, sabotage other satellites. The Russian government hasn't spilled much about Lutch's missions, leaving plenty of room for speculation. Is it a guardian of Russian communications, a space spy, or something even more clandestine? Let's take it back to 1977. It all started when NORAD, the North American Aerospace Defense Command, detected something huge orbiting the Earth. This wasn't just a satellite, it was massive, and according to their instruments, it seemed to have come out of nowhere. The logical guess? A Soviet secret satellite, especially given the Cold War tensions of the time. However, when confronted, the Soviet Union flatly denied launching anything new into space during that period. So what was this object then? The plot thickened as the object continued to be tracked by radar, meandering through the cosmos with no clear mission or origin. The incident sparked a whirlwind of speculation 
information among military officials, astronomers, and of course, conspiracy theorists. Was it a lost piece of space equipment from an earlier mission, a secretive military experiment, or something entirely different? The X-37B is like the secret agent of the space world. Everyone knows it's out there, but what it's actually up to is a mystery wrapped in a riddle, hidden inside a highly classified military program. Officially, the X-37B is a reusable space plane, part of the US Air Force's fleet, and it's designed to test new space technologies. But here's where things get interesting. The specifics of those technologies, as well as the true nature of its missions, are top secret. The X-37B has gone on multiple missions, each lasting an impressively long time, sometimes more than two years in orbit. While it's definitely known to be a platform for testing things like satellite systems or new materials in space, the secrecy has sparked all kinds of speculation. Some believe it's involved in intelligence gathering, possibly even capturing or manipulating other satellites. Others think it could be testing new kinds of weapons or defense systems in space. But because the US government keeps a tight lid on what the X-37B is really doing up there, it's become a favorite subject for conspiracy theorists and speculation. Whether it's advancing space technology or playing a part in the next phase of space-based defense, one thing is clear. The X-37B's true missions are still far from being fully understood by the public. In 1960, the discoverer XIV made history as the first satellite to successfully return film from orbit, part of the top secret Corona project aimed at spying on the Soviet Union during the Cold War. It was a remarkable achievement, marking a new era in intelligence gathering from space, but amidst the celebration, there was a very curious incident that puzzled experts. During its mission, Discoverer XIV dropped a mysterious capsule that was quickly recovered by the US military. While the primary purpose of the mission was clear, spying on enemy territories, this particular capsule was never publicly explained. The official story was tight-lipped. Was it an experimental payload, a classified device meant for something other than photography? The secrecy surrounding this capsule has fueled theories ranging from the plausible to the fantastical, with some suggesting it carried advanced technology, biological experiments, or even evidence of something extraterrestrial. Launched in December 2006, USA-193 was a US reconnaissance satellite, part of a highly classified mission that never quite got off the ground. Literally. The satellite suffered a critical malfunction soon after launch, rendering it incapable of completing its intended mission. Fast forward to 2008, and the story takes a dramatic turn. The US government announced that USA 193 was tumbling uncontrollably back to Earth, carrying a tank full of highly toxic hydrazine fuel. Because of this, the decision was made to shoot the satellite down with a missile, supposedly to prevent the dangerous fuel from causing harm if it survived re-entry. The military successfully blasted USA-193 out of the sky in February 2008 in a spectacular display of modern technology. But here's where things get interesting. The official explanation that the shootdown was purely for safety reasons didn't sit well with everyone. Why was there such urgency? And why was the satellite allowed to orbit for over a year without any action? Some speculated that USA-193 carried sensitive equipment or data that the US didn't want falling into the wrong hands. Others suggested it could have been a test of anti-satellite weaponry disguised as a precautionary measure. Cosmos 2499 is one of those space objects that really grabs your attention if you were into mysteries in the sky. Launched by Russia in 2014, it was officially just another satellite in the Rodnik system. Nothing too special. Right? Unlike your typical satellite, however, Cosmos 2499 started doing some strange things after it reached orbit. Instead of sticking to a predictable path, it began making very unusual maneuvers. These movements weren't random either. They seemed to be very deliberate. 
Some experts speculated that Cosmos 2499 was testing out new technologies, possibly for inspecting or even attacking other satellites. The fact that this satellite wasn't initially declared as part of the launch only added to the mystery. Why was it kept a secret? What was it really doing up there? The whole situation has led to plenty of speculation about Cosmos 2499's true mission. Was it part of a space age spy operation, a test of new warfare capabilities, or something else entirely? In 2017, astronomers spotted something truly extraordinary, a mysterious object zooming through our solar system at an incredible speed. Dubbed a Muamua, which means scout or messenger in Hawaiian, this interstellar visitor was unlike anything scientists had ever seen before. What made Oumuamua so intriguing wasn't just that it was the first confirmed object from another star system to enter our neighborhood, but its bizarre characteristics that defied easy explanation. For one, it had a highly unusual shape, very long and thin like a giant cosmic cigar or even a pancake. It was also tumbling through space in a way that didn't quite match anything we knew about natural space objects, like asteroids or comets. But perhaps the most puzzling detail was its unexpected acceleration. As Oumuamua sped away from the sun, it seemed to gain a little boost, almost like it had its own propulsion system. This peculiar behavior led to all sorts of fascinating speculation. Could it be an alien probe sent to scale? out our solar system? Was it some sort of advanced technology from a distant civilization, quietly observing us before continuing on its journey? While many scientists believe that there are natural explanations, like outgassing from an icy body, others just aren't so sure, and the debate continues. The Zuma mission is like one of those stories that sounds like it could be the plot of a spy movie. In 2018, SpaceX, known for its high profile profile launches and flashy tech was tasked with sending a top secret US government satellite into orbit. The mission was so classified that almost nothing was revealed to the public, not the satellite's purpose, its intended orbit, or even which branch of the government was behind it. After the launch, reports surfaced that something went wrong and Zuma was lost. But here's where things get really interesting. SpaceX insisted that their part of the mission was flawless, shifting the spotlight and the question back to the mysterious satellite itself. What was Zuma really supposed to do up there? Was it an advanced spy satellite, a new piece of tech for space warfare, or did it never actually fail and the story of its loss is just a cover? This lack of concrete information coupled with the high stakes and secrecy has fueled countless theories. Some suggest that Zuma is quietly operating in space right now, doing exactly whatever it was meant to do, whatever that might be. Others believe it was a costly blunder that the government would rather just sweep under the rug, forget about it, pretend we don't know. The truth, as they say, is still out there waiting to be uncovered. All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.